Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the study manuals for the for the for the T's. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problems that we're about to solve are the ones that you will find on page number 100. Please turn to it, page number 100. And today is our lesson number 48. Let's see what we have there. On page 100, we have some algebra problems. The very first one says, simplify the expression. 2.5252. It says, simplify the expression. And here is the expression here. 8x squared minus 7x plus 3 plus 3x squared minus 2x minus 1 minus 1 well first thing first we have to first open the parentheses so let's, let's do it here I just want to make sure that I copied it correctly 8x squared minus 7x plus 3x uh, plus 3 and then 3x squared minus 2x minus 1 let's do it then open the parentheses here happens to be a plus sign so we don't have to worry about it when we just open the parentheses nothing is going to happen to these signs had it been a minus sign, then we would have to switch all these signs here because we would have to multiply every one of them with a negative. And since we are multiplying by positive, 3x of course also has a positive sign in front of it, so it's not, nothing is going to change here. So here we have 8x squared minus 7x plus 3, and then positive times positive is going to remain positive, so it's positive 3x squared, and positive times negative is still negative, negative 2x, and positive times negative is negative. And now, what we have to do is what is known as adding and subtracting like terms. This is where if you need some extra help, if you want to improve your skill in algebra, if you're not very good at it, on my channels you will find about 200 videos dealing with different concepts of algebra. Here's the course schedule on the blackboard. If you're interested, on day number 1 through 20 we learn how to evaluate algebraic expressions. On day number 21 through 50, we learn how to add and subtract like terms, which is what we're doing here. Now we have to add and subtract like terms. So let's do that. So here we see x squared, here we see x squared since those are called like terms. And 8 plus 3 is 11. So we have 11 x squared. Now we have x and we have to x. So we have to pick up those x and x. Negative 7 and a negative 2 is going to give us negative 9x. And finally we have a positive 3 and a negative 1. A positive 3 and a negative 1 is going to give us positive 2. That's it. That's our answer. And that is called adding and subtracting like terms. Let's do one more. The one underneath it, which one has a that one has a negative sign underneath it. It is. Oh, but you know it's the exact same problem. They just switched the sign to negative. Well, oh, talk about being creative. It's the exact same problem. Instead of positive, they have a negative there. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to do the next problem, 253. And then, only thing that it changes is that this becomes negative. And instead of changing everything one by one, now we're going to redo it. Just give me one second here. So when there is a negative in, when there is a negative in the middle, you just have to slow down a little bit because now each of each of these terms are going to be multiplied by negative. So let's do it here. It's the exact same problem, but. Here we have negative. So 8x squared minus 7x plus 3 and now we have negative times positive is going to give us negative 3x squared and then negative times negative, negative times negative is going to give us positive 2x and finally negative times negative is going to become positive 1. That's all. In other words we have to switch all the signs. This positive becomes negative, this negative becomes positive and negative becomes positive. And now we do the same thing what we did before which is to add all the Add and subtract the like terms. Add and subtract the like terms. So again, we have 8x squared and negative 3x squared. Positive, this, this is a positive 8. Positive 8 and a negative 3 is positive 5. So 5x squared. And then we have a negative 7x and a positive 2x. A negative 7 and a positive 2 is going to give us negative 5. Negative 5x. And finally, we have, we have a, a positive, positive 3 and a positive 1. That's going to give us positive 4. And again, adding and subtracting like terms. 
let's move on then on the next page 2.54 on the next page page number 101 I'll give you a second in case you need to you need me to get out of your way on the next page they're asking us to multiply two algebraic expressions so let's do that Two point five four and multiplying algebraic expression is exactly what we did on day number fifty one through seventy five. We spent twenty five days there, and if you go through the entire course here, two hundred days there, it doesn't take actually that much effort because these videos are very short. And even if you were to do one video per day, I'm not talking about preparing for T's. This is not for T's. In the T's, you don't require, you don't need that much algebra there. But I'm talking about in case you're interested in improving your algebraic skill in case you are interested in learning skill in case you're interested in having a sound foundation in algebra but even if you do one video a day in 200 days in about six months you'll be all done and by the end of the 200 days assuming that you will do all the work your fear of algebra will be gone forever you will be able to you will be able to sort of set up simple algebraic uh, problems simple word problems and do all of this thing Evaluate algebraic expression, add and subtract like terms, multiply algebraic expression, divide algebraic expression, and also solve linear equations and do some word problems. Anyway, that's the idea. Let's do the next one 2.54, which is negative 5y, negative 5y times 7y squared minus 4y minus 2. So here we are multiplying algebraic expression. The only difference is that the second expression has three terms but the first expression has only one term which makes our life very easy. You just have to multiply negative 5y by each of these terms. So negative 5y times 7y squared. Negative 5 times 7 is going to be negative 35. y times y squared is y cubed. Then we do the next thing. Negative 5y times negative 4y. Again negative times negative is going to give us positive. 5 times 4 is 20 and y times y is going to give us y squared and finally negative 5y times negative 2 negative 5 times negative 2 is going to give us positive 10 and then the y make sure you pay attention to your signs because among the four answer choices that you see there the three wrong answer choices that's all they're looking for they're looking for they're waiting for you to make one of the top three popular mistakes and if you end up making the top three popular mistakes in your work then your answer will match one of the answer choices and you will never know that you got the wrong answer do you understand slow down don't make in other words don't if you're going to make a mistake in the standardized exam this is what i'm trying to tell you if you're going to make a if i'm going to make an exam a mistake in a standardized exam i want to make a mistake that is so bizarre so 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 weird that the answer to that, that answer that I come up with is not going to match with anything that, that, that they have there. At least I will know that I'm wrong. But if you end up making one of the three most popular predictable mistakes, your answer will match one of the three one of the three wrong answer choices. Do you understand? And of course you will have no way of knowing that you have done it wrong. Pay attention. Pay attention. Next one. Well, next one is the same exact idea, except now they give you two expressions and each of them has two terms. Here, here we had a situation where the second expression has three terms and the first expression only had one term. So now we're going to do two and two. 2.55. Let's leave this here. 2.55. So we have 3x minus 1, 3x minus 1, and 2x plus 5. Okay, here we go. So we multiply 3x by 2x. Now here, I should pause actually and make a remark here that uh, I know that in the American school they teach something called FOIL. Uh, <coughs> that's, not that. that's not what we're going to do here. Just, just follow the procedure, okay? Look, you take your first term of the first, exp first expression and you multiply it by the other expression. So 3x times 2x. 3 times 2 is 6, and x times x is x squared. That, you're done with that part. Now we take the 3x and multiply it by the second term. Uh, 
So 3 times 5 is 15 and this is plus and this is plus. So plus times plus is plus 15 and x. We are done with that part. Now we take the negative 1 and multiply negative 1 by positive 2x. So negative 1 times positive 2, this is a positive 2. Negative 1 times positive 2 is, positive, uh, is negative 2 times x. And finally, we have negative 1, multiply that negative 1 by positive 5. And negative 1 times positive 5 is going to give us negative 5. That's it, we're done. All we have to do at this point is to add up all the like terms. The only two like terms here are these two x's. They have 15x and a 2x. So 6x squared, positive 15 and a negative 2, negative 2, positive 15 and a negative 2 is going to give us positive 13. Positive 13x and then this 5 by itself. There you go, that's your answer. 6x squared plus 13x minus 5. And that had to do with multiplying algebraic expression. The third concept that they expect you to know in the exam is how to divide algebraic expressions. So these are the things that they expect you to know, which is why they are covered in the course here. How to evaluate algebraic expressions, how to add and subtract like terms, how to multiply algebraic expressions, how to divide algebraic expression is the next problem we're going to do, which is the very, very last problem that you see on the bottom of the page. We'll get out of the way again in case we need to look at it properly. Two point five six. We need the room, so we have to raise everything. Two point five six, which deals with dividing algebraic expressions. So here we here we go. Again, we are asked to simplify the expression. The expression that they're giving us is twenty four x squared y plus. 14xy minus 8xy squared and we are asked to divide this thing divided by negative 4xy this is what we are told this is what we are told to do and it's actually very simple very straightforward what we do is divide and conquer divide and conquer do what the British used to do what they did to India where I come from Divide and conquer. Do you understand? One term at a time. Do you follow me? The part of the world that used to be called India is where I come from. Do you understand? So let's do that. So we had negative 4xy. So each or each or each. So we'll take each one of these terms and divide them individually by negative 4xy. Negative 4xy. Negative 4xy, negative 4xy. And we'll do them separately. So first one we have is 24x squared y over negative 4xy. This is a positive, positive 24. A positive times negative, sorry, positive divided by negative is going to give us negative, and 24 divided by 6. If you reduce top and bottom by 4, you will get 6. If you divide x squared by x, x squared divided by x is the same as x times x over x and x is going to cancel out and we're left with just x. And here y divided by y, y is going to cancel out, that's it, that's all we are left. So we're done with the first part. This is the first term. Let's move on to the second term. Second term we have 14xy, which is a positive 14, divided by negative 4xy. Again, positive divided by negative is going to give us negative. And we have 14 divided by 4. If you divide top and bottom by 2, if you divide top and bottom by 2, 14 becomes 7 and 4 is going to become 2. Uh, 2, And that's all we can do. We cannot divide any further. So it's 7 over 2. And what do we have here? Well, we have nothing because x is going to cancel out this x and this y is going to cancel out that y. That's it. That's the second term. And finally, we have, this is a tricky one, make sure that you pay attention, this is negative 8y, negative 8xy squared over negative 4xy. So negative divided by negative is positive and 8 divided by 4 is 2. If you divide x by x, x divided by x, they can cancel each other out and y squared divided by y, same as before, y squared 
divided by y is same as y times y over y. y is going to cancel out and we are left with 1y. That's it. That is your third term. That's your final answer. That's our final answer. Negative 6x minus 7 over 2 plus 2y. That's your answer. That's all there is. That's all there was. Tomorrow we'll continue on the next page. And uh, how far have we gotten? We are still on page number 100, are we? Just give me one second. No, we finished page 101. So let's, let me just check very quickly what we have. Oh, on page 102 is where we are going to be tomorrow, where we have three practice problems. We'll do those tomorrow, okay? But that's the idea. They want they expect you to understand not 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 very complicated stuff, but it, the simple stuff that you can, that you encounter in these three areas, in these four or five areas actually, not three areas. They they expect you to know how to evaluate algebraic expressions. They do expect you to know how to add and subtract simple like terms. They do expect you to multi be able to multiply and divide algebraic expressions. A little bit little bit later, we'll see some linear equations in this exam. They also expect you to be able to solve. Not very complicated linear equation, but at least some simple linear equations. So if you're not, even if you're not going to watch all the videos, 86, 86 through 100, there are 15 of them, at least watch the first 5 or 6 or 7 where we deal with simple linear equations so that you learn how to do it and, and don't end up making some predictable careless mistakes. Do you understand? I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.